All right, continuing on with 6.6. So now we're going to talk about uh, rational exponents and radicals. So this is something we have uh, covered in the past here, in the last uh, section, I believe. So, so when we look at something like this, 11 to the 1 7th power, all right, what you're going to do is they want to know they're going to know how do you write this with a radical, right? And to do that, all you do, you would have 11, it would be the seventh root of 11. So essentially what you're going to have is that when you have some kind of radical exponent, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put some number here. Let's see, that's one, okay. I'll do, I'll go to this one so you can see. So on this one right here, remember that at three halves, or at this three halves, the top part, the top part is a power, and the bottom part of that is a root. Okay, so there's actually two ways to write a problem like number three, all right, with a, with a radical. So you can write this as the square root of 300. All right, so normally this, you can put a subscript two here, it doesn't matter, but normally when we talk about square roots, we don't put that little subscript two. And then we're gonna raise that to the third power, again, the 2 is a root, and the 3 is a power, so you put that on the outside. Or you can also write it like this. You can write it as 300 squared. Remember, the power is on top, the root is on the bottom. And then you take the square of that. All right, so either or is correct. Now, for the most part, we like to use this one. Uh, yeah, this one right here. Normally, if this is if we're doing this without a calculator, but you're gonna see why here in just a second. All right, so continuing on now, we're gonna go backwards on forty uh, number four forty seven. We're gonna write this as a radical, uh, as a radical exponent. So remember, if you don't have anything out here, that means that's a square root. All right, so this is actually the same thing as forty seven raised to the one half power. Okay, on number five, same idea. This would be, notice that this is the cube root, so we have 3a to the fifth b squared. We're going to rewrite all that, all of that raised to the one third power. I don't really know what they want out of this, but you could simplify this a little bit further and say this is 3 to the one third, a to the five thirds, and b to the two thirds. Remember that when you have a power raised to a power, you're going to multiply those powers together, assuming this is a power of one, so that's where I got the one third. Okay? All right, on number four, same idea. We have the fourth root of 162p to the fifth, which could be rewritten as that. Okay, all of that raised to the one-fourth power. Now, if you can, sometimes you are able to take those roots evenly. If you can't, go ahead and do it, but in this case, you can't. So I don't see the point of going here. So to evaluate this expressions right here, we're going to try to do this without a calculator. Now, to do it without a calculator, all right, remember that you can do it right in two ways, but it's always going to be easier for you if you do the root first. So remember, the bottom number is a root. The top number is a power. It's going to be easier to look at it like that because you should at least know what the cube root of negative 27 is, and that's going to be negative 3. And if you square that, then you get 9. All right, so the answer is 9. Now, the other way to do it is that you could have this as, let me see this, uh, 27, negative 27, excuse me, squared, and the cube root of that. So again, the cube root of negative 27 squared. So you can do it like that, but as you can see, this is harder for you to know. I don't know what 27 squared is. I just don't. All right, so... I had to look that up on the calculator, so it's to prove that this is the same, this cube that would give you 729, and the cube root of 729 is also 9. So you can do either or, but this one's always going to be easier. It's always easier to do the root first, then raise to the power. Now this one, this one's not very really hard. This is going to be the cube root of 216. And I don't know that one, I'll be honest, but I had to look it up. If you multiply 6 times itself, 3 times, you get... Uh, 216. And then finally number 9, right on this one, this is the same thing as the square root of 0 0.0004. Okay, and this is a little tricky. Uh, you just have to know, for example, that if you multiply this times itself, and I can show you that on the calculator, you will move the decimal points twice to the left. So again, this is the answer, but just to prove to you that this is true, 
I can have, let's see, 0 0.02. Remember, I got them backwards, so I'm actually going to square this, and I should get 4e to the negative 4 is the same thing as 0 0.0004 0 to the, so anyways, that's the same. Okay, well, that's it for that section. Hopefully this is easier the second time around.